Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing the anything but books tag. Hey guys, this is editing Eric here. So it's actually not the anything but books tag. I got the two tags confused because they're very similar, but this is the the answers cannot be books tag. So you guys have probably guessed it, but this book tag is essentially all answers about anything but books. So if you're coming to this video for book recommendations, you're probably on the wrong video. Luckily, I have a lot of those on my channel, so you can go check that out if you want book recommendations. But today, we're going to do something a little bit different, and we're going to talk about anything but books. So I'm going to jump right into the questions. There's only about six questions, and then I tag some people. So Let's just dive right in and you can learn a little bit about me, not related to my book life. So the first question is, what is something you own way too many of that is not books? And so that answer would be board games. Marcus and I have quite a big collection of board games in the basement. So instead of me just like trying to explain it, let me give you a little clip and I'll show you. So here they are. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have a lot of board games. <laughs> This is just a quick overview of them. Yeah, there's a lot of cat toys on the floor too, so you can see all those. But yeah, so we have like two half shelves and then two full bookshelves of all board games. I told you we had a lot of them. The next question is, what is something that you do for fun that is not reading a book? So I actually play a video game called League of Legends and I play this very often. Um, I mainly play it with my friends from back home, like my original hometown that I'm from, because I moved away and I bought a house where I am now, so I'm no longer back home, but that's, it's a way that like I can keep in touch with them. We play League of Legends together and talk to each other on Discord, so yeah, it's just kind of like my bro bonding time, <laughs> if that makes sense, and it's just a way to me stay connected with my friends back home. So yeah, I play that a lot. If any of you guys play League of Legends, let me know in the comments down below and give me your summoner name and I'll look you up. My summoner name is Crundor <laughs> and don't ask me how I made that name. I mean, I'll tell you, I just used a random name generator. I think it was the World of Warcraft random name generator because I used to also play that game quite a bit, but I got away from that one because that one had kind of an addictive tendency for me. <laughs> and so, yeah, I just didn't want to be addicted to my screen nonstop. Although now I'm kind of addicted to my screen nonstop because like I film videos, I edit videos, I work on a computer as a web developer, I play video games, so I'm pretty much on the screen all the time. I mean, when I'm not reading as well. <laughs> I'm a booktuber and I try and read as much as I can, but it doesn't happen that much. I'm sure a lot of you can relate with me. The next question is, what's something special or important to you that's on your nightstand that's not a book? My nightstand is actually pretty clear, like there's not too much on it. Um, does dust count? Because <laughs> I have quite a bit of dust on it. I should really clean that. Um, other than that, I have a lamp. So I guess that's pretty important because like that gives me light to read. <laughs> I also have whatever book I'm reading at that given time, but I can't say books, so that does not count. Um, what else do I have on my nightstand? My glasses, I leave them on there when I go to sleep. That's important, I need those to see. So yeah, pretty important. I also have some of my break-even books bookmarks on there that just sit there so I can look at them and be proud that I made them, I guess. Yeah, so those are on there. And then my phone charger, that's important too. I would say the glasses and phone charger are the most important things, so yeah. Do what you will with that. Then we have what's something you buy at a bookstore other than books. And my first answer I wanted to say for this was candles, but that's not true. Like I go sniff the candles when I'm in a bookstore, but that sounds really creepy. I definitely enjoy the smell of candles and I'll go check them out when I'm at a bookstore, but the candles at bookstores are outrageously expensive. And like, if I wanna burn a hole through my wallet, that's what I'll do. If I wanna spend like $30 on one candle, but I usually don't tend to do that because I can get candles otherwhere for a lot cheaper. So what I do is I buy mugs. And so I grabbed a couple of mugs to show you guys. So this one actually wasn't from a bookstore. This was from a friend, but I wanted to show you guys. My friend Jordan sent me the Rose Apothecary 
uh, mug from Schitt's Creek. And so this is from like David's shop, the Rose Apothecary, and I love it. It's awesome. I believe this one came from a bookstore and this is like an Avengers mug. It's got all the Avengers on it. It also has Wolverine because he's a part-time Avenger for all you guys that didn't know. He's not highlighted in the movies, but that's probably because Sony and Marvel have this like clashing thing. So yeah, there's that. I got this Doctor Who mug for Marcus at a bookstore. So that's pretty cool. I haven't watched Doctor Who, so I really know nothing about it, but he really likes it. I got this giant Batman mug at a bookstore. And just to show you in relation, like this is a normal size mug. Oh wait, I guess it doesn't look that much bigger. Okay, well this one, it's like rounder at the top and wide. So like you can fit a lot more liquid in this. I got this Star Wars mug, Return of the Jedi. Cool. And then I got this adorable Canada mug that has like Canadian things on it, like a hockey stick, the flag, somebody canoeing in the wilderness. You got some maple syrup, a moose, Canadian goose. Yeah, so there's that. But yeah, uh, I definitely get lots of mugs at the bookstore. Then we have, what's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? And I like that you had to add in a gift card for books because I would have been like, yeah, that's my answer. Uh, so I went with vinyl records and I've received a couple of vinyl records that I love. One of them specifically is Cleopatra by the Lumineers. I adore the Lumineers. Like they're one of my favorite bands. I love listening to them and just like jamming out and yeah. This is like, if I had to name a band that like I sing along to the most, it would probably be the Lumineers or Taylor Swift. <laughs> but I just, I love this vinyl record and Marcus got this for me for my birthday one year and I was just so excited because I've always wanted it on vinyl. So now I have it. My friend Liz also got me the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack on vinyl. Is this not so cool? Like, look at this. Stunning, right? And then the back has like the movie cover. Oh, I love it. So cool. So yeah, this is pretty awesome as well. And it's a great soundtrack. I also have The Beatles, which I snagged from my parents in their old vinyl collection because I really wanted The Beatles on vinyl. So I got this one. And then I got my favorite record from the Arkells, which is Michigan Left. This is still my favorite. I've listened to their new one recently and this one still holds up. I think this one will continue to be my favorite record by them or album, I guess. Album works. But yeah, so those are like the four records that I enjoy the most. I have some other ones, but like these ones are the ones I would listen to pretty much all the time. So these are my favorites. Then we have what's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not about books. And that's pretty hard because like all of my subscription feed is booktubers. I'm like addicted to you guys and watching you all the time. But the one that I do watch with Marcus, actually Marcus introduced me to this person, is Andrew TMI. And <laughs> it's just because he's really funny, honestly. He is like a vlogger and he just essentially gives you like a bunch of like daily like travel vlogs or like day in the life of vlogs. And he's just hilarious. I don't know. There's just something about this guy that just makes me laugh all the time. He's super sassy, super dramatic, and I'm here for it. His family is included in a lot of his vlogs and his family's so much fun. He does, uh, he did one video where it was like asking my dad uncomfortable questions about like being gay or something like that. And it was, it was so funny. Like I was snorting laughing watching that. So yeah, if you want, you can check out Andrew TMI. He's got a lot of hilarious videos and I think you guys might enjoy him. And then of course now I'm supposed to tag five booktubers that I want to learn more about. So essentially tag five more people to do this tag so I can learn about you. Um, I'm going to tag Hillary from Melted Books because I always tag her in everything and I think this would be fun to learn more about her. Uh, I'm also going to tag Steph from Coffee Over Apples because I think that she would have a fun time doing this. I'm going to tag Hugo from Scientists Reading World because I think he would enjoy this too. I, unless he's done it already, but yeah, if you've done it already, don't worry. I'll also tag Rye from Rye's Reading Corner. And I'm also gonna tag Mo and Christine from the Roomies Digest. They were the ones that tagged me in the Truth or Dare book tag. So let's see if they do this one. And yeah, that's it for the book tag. Let me know if you have anything interesting that um, you do that isn't book related in the comments down below, or if you have anything to say about my cool stuff that I have, AKA my mugs or my vinyl records, you know. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. And now for our independent bookstore shout out. 
Okay guys, today's independent bookstore is for schoolhouseteaching.com and this is their website. Um, I love that they have this celebrating orange shirt day right off the bat, that's awesome. They also have an indigenous gifts section where 100% of the art is designed by indigenous artists, so you should check that out. Uh, the site's mainly for like teacher resources, but like everybody can come here for learning tools. So they have fidget things for sensory, they have uh, games, uh, diversity inclusion books, books about mindfulness, health and safety, all sorts of stuff, which is really cool. Uh, puppets. Ooh, that's a cool puppet. Um, but yeah, so if you need like school resources, you can definitely come to this website and they'll have a whole bunch of stuff that you can look through. So that is schoolhouseteaching.com. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.